Tonight's live stream telecast is being produced by Johnny Nomad Media and Daytona Beach Live Stream Solutions. Please give a warm Elevate Daytona Beach welcome for our next speaker of the evening, Chris Rock. <laughs> it hurts to relive the pain, but sometimes you gotta relive the pain in order to heal from it. Three and a half years ago, I was hanging from the back of my bedroom door. I woke up and I tied this cord around my neck and I passed out. But first, let me tell you how I got here. When I was seven, I was taken from my mother and I was placed into foster care. The very first home I went to, I was molested. The second home, molested, beaten, and I had cigarettes put out on me. And the third home, molested. All this by the time I was nine. But before we go any further, I think it's important that all of you know that I'm so much more than those bad things that have happened to me. So if it, if it hadn't been for uh, a few great people being placed in my life, you know, I would have remained there. And that's a scary thought, because most of those kids that I was in those homes with have disappeared. They're either dead or in prison, or they have gone to prison. Uh, let's fast forward to 2016. I lost my mother the day she was supposed to get out of the hospital. And it's hit me hard. You know, I, I, first came the guilt, then came the regret. I didn't get to tell her that I loved her. I didn't tell her that I forgave her and that she has nothing to be ashamed of for what I went through. And this kind of, you know, took me on this uh, another journey where I wasn't prepared for what was to come next, which was the fear. I want everyone to think of the scariest moment in their life. You know, that take your breath away feeling that. <gasps> That's how I felt every second of every day for two years until one morning I couldn't take it anymore. I woke up, tied that cord around my neck four or five times and I passed out before I could tie the knot. When I woke up, I looked in the mirror and I just saw the bruising and this was on a Tuesday. And that Friday, I looked out my window and I saw a rainbow and I just remember thinking to myself, wow, it's beautiful, it's so big and bright. And I wouldn't even have been here to experience that. I knew I needed help, so I reached out to the most amazing being that I know. And she told me that I was a great person and su suggested counseling. So August 24th, 2018, I started at the Presbyterian Counseling Center and I was lucky enough to be placed with my coach, Frank Kerno. I told him everything that I just told you in our first session, just in more detail. And at the end of the session, he sat back in his chair and he had this perplexed look on his face and he said, you know, Chris, do you have a purpose? That was and still is the most impactful question I've ever been asked. And I didn't know it then, but by me starting to help myself to get better, that became my purpose. And purpose leads to purpose. The same friend who suggested counseling to me also told me that I, I, I couldn't help other people until I was able to help myself. And it wasn't until two days ago that I realized what she meant, because by me helping myself, I'm able to be on this stage here tonight to share my story to help others. So I started with gratitude, and that was how I, how, how I started to work on fixing myself and just being grateful for what I had. And this led me to be able to partner with some incredible local artists, and we were able to do the War of Art events uh, summer series in 2019 and raise awareness for the level one schools in Volusia County. It, everything, I was in my purpose in that moment. Everything just came to me so easy. It was just like I was moving mountains and I wasn't even breaking a sweat. But that purpose led to my next purpose because purpose leads to purpose. So once I, when, once I started doing this, uh, you know, the whole purpose of this, this event here, what I discovered is purpose moves mountains. You know, when you're in your purpose, you will outwork anyone. And when you're in your purpose, time will stand still. You know, most people, myself included, you know, we want to take the elevator to success and greatness, but the only problem is there is no elevator. You got to take the stairs because with every step you take is another lesson learned. And with each step you take is a new skill. With each step that you take is a new strength. And with each step you take is leading you closer to your purpose. Isn't it funny how we spend so much time, or we spend a lot of time, convincing ourselves of what we have to do or what we want to do, that sometimes we don't realize what we're meant to do. Be one of the rare beings that live their life with purpose. 
I used to look at this extension cord here as a way to turn my light out. But now, I use it as inspiration to let my light shine. <laughs>